People of the internet, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Out of the Park Baseball 17 GM Mode Sim for Premier League Baseball. I am F5 Penguin. You can find me all over the interwebs at F5 Penguin. And in the last video, we just we just getting we just in, in we did okay, and then injuries plagued us. And lately, so what what I've done, I'll just be upfront with you guys. So what I've done is. Over the past couple of days, there's been a few sims that have been out, and I've been checking. I've been slowly looking and seeing what we got going on. And what we have going on is the entire month of August, we've been cursed again. I don't even want to talk about it. Look at this. Zapata, Punkachar, Cantu, Burleson. And look at all of our stars, or our prospects in the minors. All injured. It's been one injury after another. For literally no reason, Starks wants out. There's fighting in the locker room. We went 27 and 37 into the month of August. Looking at the schedule, let's see. So we caught up around the 10th. I know we were at the 10th, but let's. I basically played out uh, August and essentially then let it ride out into September. When you lose that many games and you you just you, you can't keep the injuries away. And, and I know what happened. We have even more injuries here in September. I just kind of, I just, I'd rather get the draft pick at this point. We're out of contention. We're not going to get the wild card. We were so far out of the wild card. We were seven and a half games. It, there's, there's just no way. So again, another season of losses, which is more problems to deal with. But the good news is we look towards the postseason or the, the off season, and we see that we're going to lose some high dollar contracts. Thank God, finally. And we have some plus side that we can look at, too. And the plus side being we have some some guys who are ready to go to the majors and, and Capra and Punkachar when he gets healthy and a couple of pitchers that we got and Askey and, and Zarnecki. And like, we have some stars. So look here. We went on a little bit of a tear again. We won three games versus Winnipeg, and then we lost again for a long time. So I want to recap August and then look at September. And essentially, this will take us to the end of the season. And then we have to have a conversation about what we're going to do because we'll lose players we, that we need to lose. And we really got to figure out our game plan now that we're going to be free and able to spend money for the first time in, I think, three seasons. So first and foremost, let's look at our stats. So we pull up the split for August. These are our numbers for August for our pitchers. So major league numbers only apply. Uh, looking at our fillers, Duran did not do well. Three games. 0-2, pitched nine innings, eight ERA. Horrible. He was, they said he was ready. Clearly, he was not ready. Uh, two home runs in nine innings, not good at all. Uh, so we, we start by ERA, and we see that Durin, uh, why is the ERA not pulling? Yeah, he didn't even play uh, another game in August because of his crappy ERA, his terribleness. Actually, that's not right because he should have an... No, he's got to be an 8. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, regular season, sort by... There it goes. Okay, yeah. So he played the three games, sorry, and he had an 8 ERA. Uh, highest average as well. So he's 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 done. I pff, Waste of a... He was supposed to be a star and it not, didn't work out. So we look at who had the best. Lombard, surprisingly, has been pretty good for us. <laughs> he pitched eight innings in eight games, uh, two hits against, two runs. That's pretty good. Like, opponent hitting average. I like that. I, I can't really hate that at all. Uh, Zelaya did okay, as, as okay as I'd expect him to do with a losing team. He had five saves in, in the month of August, so he's... He's mad because he's not getting his saves. That He wants to play more games. I can't really fault the guy for wanting to play more games. Uh, Hernandez played a heck of a lot of games, 15 games, in fact, and he pitched 15 innings. I like that. And Thierry did the same, about 12 with 16 innings and a 2 ERA, 226 batting average. Ks per nine. Who's going to lead that list? Obviously, Moreno surprised me. I, I didn't expect that to happen. He only pitched eight innings. Barnhart was on that list, too. 10 strikeouts per nine innings. So we we have a potential starter here of the future. Uh, if I can get that movement up a little bit, we'll be okay. He's average. He's not great. He's average, and that's okay. Um, we look at our walks per per five or per, uh, sorry, walks per nine. That's what I wanted to look at next. He's still a little bit high, a brunk, and that's a concern. 
we wanted Brunk to be a little bit better, and it's it's just not getting there yet. But I think we have some time with him. He's 27. I think I can get that contact uh, control up to a six, and if so, we'll be in good shape. He didn't perform as well as we wanted him to, and that's mainly because we had him in a starter slash long relief position. If I can move him to middle, I think we'll be okay. Um, strikes per walks during lead with four per every walk, which is surprising because I didn't really expect that from him. But I'll again, the numbers are wrong here. Regular season sorting. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know what happens every time I sort. Sometimes the stats go away in a split. That's really weird. Okay. So Zelaya and then Duran with four. Um, and our best player was Lawson Murphy, who was a starter. We called him up, and that's working out for us. So pitching, we have a couple of holes to fill. The holes we have to fill are we need to figure out our long relief and get, like, one big starter, not counting Burleson because he's now a injured little butterfly. We need one starter. We can gun for one starter at about 100K. We can get one, and I think we're going to do that. So that's good news, uh, and I'm happy that that's happening. Uh, something I'm also going to be doing in the future as soon as this video is over, because I forgot with this video, is coming up in the next video, I will be live streaming on Twitch all of my Let's Plays and sending them over to YouTube as well. So you'll kind of get them on both platforms. So if you do watch Twitch and you like Twitch better, cool. You can join me on there. Uh, the times of the streams are going to be all over the place with this. So that's going to be the only downside is it's just going to show up. Uh, but you can watch them on Twitch. I'll leave them up for broadcasting after. And I'll even make them highlights so you can watch them forever. So I will do that for you. Um, I'll also tweet, I guess, when I'm going live on, on Twitch so you can watch it too. If you follow me on Twitter, please do at F5Penguin. You can see that. So that's going to be happening. Now, looking at my lineup, let's look at the batting stats here. And th this is where it was horrible because everyone was all over the place. So we're going to pull up uh, one split August and regular season. And here's our numbers. So who did the best for us? It's going to be Capra. Look at Capra's numbers. 18 games, 18 starts, 84 uh, plate appearances. Super, super, super good. 27 hits, 6 home runs, 12 RBIs. He's on fire. This guy is good. I cannot wait. He's a little bit young still. I called him up a little bit too early because Punkachar got injured. But at 23, this is no joke. And look where he's going to be. So his home run power is only going to be a 5. Gap power, though, I in contact can get up to a six, and gap power is already a seven. He is a hitter. He's not the best home run hitter, but he is a solid, solid all-around hitter. I like him being up here. I was hoping to eke out a six out of home run power. I really was. And uh, OSA still thinks he can get to a seven. So if I can get one more, one more power out of him, I will have him locked up for... Ever. I'm going to I'm gonna sign him long-term. He will be our star in the future. And with his speed and base running, we're good to go. We're good to go. He can hit all over the field. He gets them high. I'm happy. I'm happy with Capra being up here. Uh, who I'm not happy with being up here is Askey. That did not work out either. So Farrell, Askey, not really, uh, not really material for starters. But we knew that because Farrell wasn't working out. Uh, Askey was only a filler because the Pata got injured. Like We just have all these holes to to deal with and it's not working out um a bright side though is siula even though he was only a 214 um his slugging was above 300 i wanted that a little bit higher i know that but he got some playing time and that was important because he's still only 23 as well i'll probably send him back down and figure out a hole to fill because i don't think he's quite ready yet i think one more year in the minors will do him good but he got some play uh some playing time in the majors i think that'll help him so that's something to look forward to. Kirshner the same way. You look at Kirshner's numbers. They were no good. And I, I thought he would be ready, but his eye's too low. So he'll have to go back down. Um, I just needed these players up to fill holes. I have holes to fill. So this is what we're dealing with. One more season where we're going to sign some filler guys and some starters. And then in one season, we'll have all of our draft pool essentially called up. And I think we'll have enough to get by. I think we'll not even get by, do well. I think we'll have enough to actually make the playoffs. Uh, the Cantu filler did not work out. Phil Pot injured all over the place. So he played 19 games. He did well as we'd expect him to. Kleinmeyer's contract's up. Uh, Fountain didn't do anything spectacular. He's filler. So this is what we're looking at. 11 stolen bases from Capra, though. <laughs> And he wasn't caught at all. So he is not only a contact hitter, he's getting extra bases 
every single time. Um, for some reason, his war is not pulling up here. Let's pull up uh, regular season. I can't do that. Why can't I do that? Uh, split regular season. Yeah, his war is a 2.4, <laughs> and it was a 3.4 in the minors. So so Capra is our guy. That is our go-to. Uh, I am happy with him for sure. So a couple of things we can look at. Nolan is probably going to get the call up next season. Uh, Duty, same way. These guys are decent enough to get us by. Uh, Romero, he's going to stay. All these guys that are Nieves, uh, Alston. Alston's not even ready to go up. That's how bad he is. Uh, Cobra. Uh, Hymas is back up, but I'm going to send him back down. And then all the young guys are going to come up. So we're going to kind of swap some players, move them around, and deal with it because I'm tired of not winning. I'm just tired of it. And the injuries are not helping. We had a chance here, guys, to be really, really, really good this season, at least to get second in the division and be above 500. I don't think we're going to get there. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to sim. We're going to sim. And we're going to go, and it's going to be like three sims in. So let's download the file. And I want your take now that we know who we can and can't trade. And pretty much we can't trade any overpaid veteran. It just, it just can't happen. We know it can't happen. So don't even, we can't even try, but we have a game plan. Uh, the draft is where we do well. So we're going to really draft deep and we're going to pick up some, some players. Also the expansion draft is probably happening this off season. If it does, It'll bump us back by two teams. And I think we're going to introduce six teams in total over the set of a couple of seasons. so Or a handful of seasons, I'd rather say. So we have to contend with that. They're going to get the first picks. But we can throw all of our players to the Wolves and hope somebody picks them up that we don't like. So that, that is on the list, too. Uh, those fringe players, maybe the AI will pick them up and we can lose their contracts. Uh, doubtful, but we can try. So we are simming. We're, we're waiting for the sim to load. We'll see how September looks like, and then we'll make a game plan for the next season, the 1956 season. So it's 920. Everyone's healthy. No surprise there. Look at our mail. Zelaya wants out. We knew that. Oh, and we checked all these already, so we can just delete. Um, these were just the game recaps from August. The moon in the locker room, Starks. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, oh, here's the news. So this is good. Um, Premier League Baseball are now, oh, that's the roster expansion, not the brand expansion, sorry. That's not the league expansion, I apologize. Um, hi, Derek, I've never seen bad locker rooms before. Uh, I've, I've seen them before. We worked away in the past. This year's different. No one's getting along. Uh, problems on the field. If you care about winning, do something. I don't know what to do. We keep losing. I don't know what you want me to do. Start winning games, guys. Start winning games. Uh, we finished 33-49. and 49. Okay? Terrible. Again, another another bad season. I just it's frustrating to keep trying and then not having it go anywhere. It really, really is. Uh Zelaya's also mad. We're out of the playoffs. We were out on the tenth. No surprise. Uh but, 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 but we're just flying through this because it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Burleson is mad. The bickering in the clubhouse. Thierry. You want it, no desire to stay here and would like a trade. You know, if you, I sign guys to play games and they get injured, and then the bad guys get mad that they're not winning. Like, I can't do anything about that. I can't do anything about that. So, injured, this is, this is bad. 15 day DL. Capra injured for a week. 15 day DL. Um, who else? No one else. Okay, cool. And then let's see. Cantu's back in the lineup. It doesn't matter. Uh, Vital is back in double in AAA, and McKinley's back in AAA. And those are the players I needed to call up. I needed those guys to replace Cober and Austin, and they got injured. And it was it was just a bad set of timing, like bad timing. So uh, while we're up here, we're gonna do our send downs since we're out of the playoffs anyway. Uh, schedule, yeah, we're out. So we lost all three to Joplin. They almost squeaked into the playoffs, by the way. We'll look at the playoffs in just a second, too. Um, Barnhart, we'll send him down. We'll send Murphy back down. We're basically going to send out everybody and work our way back up. Uh, Duran's not even going to be in the conversation at this point. Uh, oh, no. he Did he step up? In... Wow. Let's take a look. Okay, let's take a look at what he did for us. Pitching stats. Um, split. 
We want to split for uh, regular season. I wanted the game lock. There we go. So in September, he did not bad for us. He was a starter, though. Yeah, lost four to six. No, he did pretty bad. He had one really good game against Albany, who was the uh, division leader. So that's pretty good. But then nine to two, six to four, ten to six, gives up five, gives up three, gives up four. Yeah, that's that's no good. So he's he's done. He's, I'm not going to deal with him. I don't know why his WAR is so high because that's oh that's his numbers for uh, AAA, not not uh, major. Okay, that's fine. Um, I got to send down Kirshner. I got to send down Askey. We we're kind of just going to make re, reset essentially. Um, we're going to go and also send down, I'm trying to figure out who else I'm going to send down. Uh, theory. No, 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 no. So that's good for right now. That's good for right now. Starks isn't going to be anything major. He's just going to hang out until I can cut him, I guess. Um, so we got 32 players in the AAA that we're going to look at. I think one of our teams made the playoffs. So that's something we'll definitely look at as well. Let's do that uh, after we look at the schedule. So what did we do? We lost 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We won 1, 2, 3 against the Queens. Crazy. Uh, 4, 5, 6. 6 and 11 in September. No bueno. No good. So we lost Wichita. We lost Albany straight. Then we won. Lost Houston 1, 2, and then lost Joplin. Yeah, it's... Can't say we're surprised. The only thing I'm surprised by is our 9 to 6, 8 to 6 and 7 to 4 wins versus the uh, Queens Bees of New York. We should have lost those games too. Uh they're a better team, but look at this. Surprisingly not. Uh Barnhart gets credited with the win. Zelaya gets 15 saves. So let's take a look at Zelaya's numbers. He got 17 on the season. 1 and 4, we don't look at that. ERA was atrocious. I I can't Nowhere near his career year. And that's simply because he's coming into positions and getting blown up because he's in a bad position to start with. Like It's just, it's frustrating because we have some good players and they're just not doing well together. Like overall, they're not doing well. Uh, looking at attendance, nobody showed up for the last games. <laughs> they showed up for one New York Queens games and then did not show up for the rest of the games. Looking at accounting, we're going to be tight, okay? This 750 really saved our butt. It really did. So we're going to lose 750 on the season after getting 750. Uh, that doesn't count to our profit and loss, though, so that's not equated into this number. And then we're going to have this end of the season is going to end on $1.1 million negative. Uh, we will get cash in uh, the next season. We'll get some cash from our owner. We'll get money, and we'll grow from there. And hopefully we'll end, like it looks here, positively. We lose a lot of contracts. Who do we lose? Great question. Let's take a look right now. Upcoming free agency, all players, uh, filter none, default none. So we lose Cantu at two twenty uh, at three eighty. We'll lose him. We'll lose Alston at I think it's obnoxious. It's like seven sixty. Yeah. So we're gonna lose a million dollars right there. And truth be told, for two twenty seven, I might go after Cantu for one season. Will he re-sign right now? Offer extension. He wants 227 for four years. How can he play? Do you think he would be any good until he's 40, 42, 41? No, no way. No way. I would sign him. If I would sign him for anything, I'd sign him for a season. I'd sign him for a, strictly for a season. But not at 250. Maybe 200. I don't know. Uh, we look. Well, let's look at our... Our accounting real quick and see we're gonna be at two million for player expenses the most we could probably spend is gonna be like two and a half so I don't think we can go for him we'll have to let him go no option to keep him um, looking at 56 yeah, Cantu, Kleinmeier, Alston, and then 57, it's going to be uh, Fountain, 10K, doesn't matter. Lombard, which I think we re-sign him. I don't know. 
And then we don't have anybody else until 58 where we add everyone else who's terrible. Burleson, Cobra, Romero, Hymas. They're all gone at 57. So we technically got one more season to deal with, or two more seasons to deal with all the nonsense. But it's substantially less. The good news is substantially less. So uh, I'm hoping. And Burleson goes down to 540. Hymas goes up a little bit, but Burleson goes down. So we're going to save about 60K there. Um, I hope Hymas just goes away because I'm, I'm not calling him up. He's in the minors. That's why I put him down there right now. So he knows he's in the minors and maybe says, I don't want to play. In fact, let's send him all the way down. Let's do it. Hymas, you're down in, in double A, uh, which means I could probably call up Pinson because he's probably ready, which means Hymas goes down to single A and that's where you're going to live. Take that. <laughs> oh okay so he's down there um i just don't want him to sign i really don't burleson will be okay if he can just stay healthy but he's such a butterfly now fragile because he just kept getting injured over and over and over and over so plan we need a draft like i don't know we need to for the draft we need to go after one more star pitcher and Probably a third baseman because Phil Pot will be out by the time we have our third baseman ready. Because if we look at contracts, I got him for two more with an opt out for one more. And he'll probably not opt, he'll probably choose to opt out because he's good. Um, and then free agency, we need one veteran leader. We have to find a veteran leader. I need you all to go to the website. The link is in the description. Go to the website and look for a veteran leader. Let's find one together and really make it something. We need to find one. There's no option about it. <sighs> that being said, let's look at the playoffs. So who made it? St. Paul, Quebec, Winnipeg, Laredo, Tallahassee, Gary, and Toronto, Albany. So essentially, uh, Quebec, Laredo, and Tallahassee are the only teams that are human controlled in the playoffs. Will they go far? We'll see. Uh, we're going to look at the AAA. Dallas is in the playoffs. Oh, cool. We're already tied one game apiece, so I have to deal with that. Um, I'm going to I'm going to go far with those guys. We're going to get them for we're going to get them far. Uh, AAA or AA, we got Phoenix. So we're still in. Fantastic. Over the Orlando Palms. That's pretty great. And then in single A, uh, I don't think we're going to be there. Yeah, Everton's not in there. We, we didn't have a good single A. Uh, this draft class has been a little bit light for us this season. So we didn't have a lot of stars. And the ones we did get moved to double A already. So um, that's just that's just the way it goes. That's just the way it goes. So Cantu, we're going to move him down. Uh, yeah, no, we'll leave him. We'll leave Cantu. Uh, who else moved? Valenzuela, we can move him down. Yeah, he can come down. Um, who else? Who else is minor league? No one else there. So everyone else is kind of major league. Um, so we'll move Cobra up. We'll move Alston up. We'll move... I just want to make some room for these guys to actually play and have a good time. Uh, Askey's got to go down, but I don't have room for him. I basically got to make room up here. So Askey's going to go up. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I want to make this team good. Because we have the minor leaguers that we called up essentially are just fillers. So we're going to send down Sarah Piglia, which means we can call up Pablos again. Um, well, that's not necessarily true. Let's send him down. Let's look at the numbers. Uh, so we got Sarah Piglia did 234 in the majors. Six homers, 26. Pablos did. Oh, no. We'll keep Pablos. Grass check. How'd you do? 263. Yeah, we'll leave Sarah Piglia then. I, maybe not good enough then. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, Vital. I got to move four more guys up. Uh, I just want to get the right players. And then make the double A also a little bit better too is kind of the idea here. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think about this. We called up Pinson. I like that idea. Anyone else really good? No, not here. So there's no one that can come up to the double A. So essentially, I'm sending just crappy players up to the major league roster. 
Um, that's going to be probably, probably, uh, I got to figure this out. One catcher. I don't need two catchers, but I should keep one just in case. Um, Millen's not ready yet. Let's see who's not ready yet. Fasil is not ready yet. He got blown up, right? Let's see the, let's look at the pitchers. Let's look at the pitchers and let's see who's not doing well. So ERA, Fasil and Padilla. Millen's all right. He's not great. FIP. Uh, I just want to see what we can do here. Yeah, let's. I'm thinking. Sorry. I'm just trying to figure this out. Uh, we'll send Fasil up because we don't want him playing. We'll send. I guess it was no Milan's too good. We'll send Padilla up. He's not playing. Essentially, I should probably cut him. He's 28 and he's crap. Padilla pitching stats expanded. FIP minus no, he's no, oh yeah, he's he's above league average. He's not he, he's below league average. Sorry, so he's not uh, he's not anything we're gonna shake a stick at here. Four four, yeah, he's level. All right, he's done. He's done. We're we're gone. Goodbye, Padilla. And then let's see, two more players. So then we got, I got some good pitchers down there. So I'm trying to keep that going. Um, I don't know who else to send down, or to send up rather. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I guess I mean I like his ERA though. His ERA is good. So let's see. We got three. Yeah, we can send up. Anderson. We'll send up Anderson and then we will uh, try to figure this out. One more. Kinley's good. Uh, I want to make sure we have some depth. Um, let's get rid of Yamamoto for right now. He didn't do too well. He had a 4.6 ERA. He was the highest. So we'll send him up. That'll be our That'll be where we go um, for the major league. That'll be kind of our send down quote, but it's really sending them up to not play. Uh, we're going to focus on growing some of these players in the AAA and AA. I don't see anybody. Yeah, no one except the catchers are going to come up from single A to double A. I'm just looking to see if there's an older guy that can play utility. And I don't see it, so it's not going to happen. Um, yeah, I don't want to send Philpot. I guess I could send Cobra. Yeah, let's do that. Let's send Cobra down, Bodai up, because might as well. <laughs> uh, we'll send Cobra down to the to the double A. That's punishment for being crap. And then that means we'll have a secure double A position and a secure triple A team overall. And that's without any like major league guys other than the ones I've sent down to purgatory. Um, how did Nieves do for the season, by the way? That's something we should look at. Nieves for the season, look at this, for 55. Two wins, four losses, 24 saves. So he didn't break his record of 29 <laughs> saves as a closer. And his ERA was a 2.16, so not as good as delay. But this is proof that he was never going to make it in the majors anyway. Like, look at that. That's just not two and four. Come on. Um 36-year-old reliever with wholly inadequate ability. Use him as mop-up. Upgrade quickly. There's got to be someone out there with a little more upside. Uh, can't tell the difference. Average. Blah, 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 blah. Control is the only good thing he's got. So he's going to stay there until he's done. And I only have him for another... Oh, God. I got him until 58, maybe. That's terrible. Terrible. Okay. That, and that's why we do, we're doing this right now. We need... We need to get rid of those players and start over, and that's what we're going to do. So this is what we're looking at, okay? We have our team. We're set. We're ready to go. Uh, I'll figure out the roster itself in the off video, and then in the next video, we'll look at our playoffs for the AAA and single A, uh, AA teams. We'll make some adjustments. I'll do some quick simming, uh, and follow me on Twitter at F5Penguin to see the entire uh, live stream on Twitch, and it'll also be on YouTube. The same exact video, so don't think it'll be anything different. It's the same exact video. And yeah, so that's what we're going to do. 
Link is in the description. As soon as the free agent, or I'm sorry, the free agent, the draft pool is out, we will look at the draft pool and we will see where we can go from here. And hopefully we'll go up. We need a pitcher. We need a third baseman. That's what we're going to gun for. That's what we're going with. And we're going to hope for the best. I think next season, if we do this right, we'll only have maybe one or two holes we got to fill in. Right, right now, that's going to be our starter pitcher and probably a second baseman. Probably a second baseman because I don't think we have anybody ready to go. McCarty could be ready. Uh, and if he is, then we'll have to change our focus to a first baseman. That means Kirshner is not going to be ready. So one of the two we got to make a decision with. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Leave a comment. Please like and subscribe to this video. It helps me out, and I appreciate your support. And, of course, this has been Out of the Park Baseball 17 Premier League Baseball GM Mode Sim for the Brooklyn Atlantics organization. I am at F5 Penguin everywhere on the web, and we'll see you in the next video with some hardware to bring back for AAA. Because, I mean, AAA is better than the Major League, but the PLP Cup didn't say that. I think Jeff is rigging the injuries. Yeah, definitely rigging the injuries. Damn you, Jeff.